guys, what's up? Okay, so yes, this is a Christmas ornament, but that's okay. This is what I thought I'd do um, today. I thought I'd do something kind of fun and different. So I've got just hordes and hordes of Sweet Shop of Horror stuff backed up from, oh gosh, Halloween, Christmas, just whenever. So I thought since it was Valentine's Day season, I got a bunch of things that were pink and I put them together and I thought, well, we'll kind of do a Valentine's Day themed cocktail. So I have two bath bombs and I have some bath salts and I have a bubble bar. So. I'm going to put them in one at a time, and they're all kind of um, like sweetly scented, of course. Those are my favorite kind of scents, and um, so I thought that they would pair pretty well together. So um, we're going to just go ahead and put them in one at a time and um, see what they all do. And I always fill my tub up too much when I'm doing a bubble bar because I just forget. But anyway, we'll do that last, but we're going to do this first, and um, then we'll just keep going and see what we've got. so foamy. Yeah, I picked it up so many times from the top, but the top was coming off a little bit, so I would have just dipped it in, and I would have really liked to have done that, but I think I messed it up a little bit by messing with it so much. Now, this one is scented in Fruit Loops because I think I got one of the very first ones, but I think she actually did them in an iced cranberry scent. Smells really, really good. Let's see what this is like. This may take a while. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. That water, oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. It's just the brightest, most feminine pink ever. It's so pretty. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a fun demo, so I might play with it a little bit. And it might be really, really long with all this stuff that I plan on doing, but... I do feel like um, her bath bombs are really interactive, and I think that's awesome. Or at least I make them interactive when I do them anyway, and um, I think that's really fun. so bright. A lot of times when I do these really bright ones and that foam is just so bright white it messes with the color on my camera but oh well. I know I'm a little shaky, but this is just a super, super casual demo. Look how small it is now. Okay, so I didn't know, I would not have expected this little, um, this little top and the little string of the ornament to go down to the bottom, but that's so cool. So, you know what, I could have picked it up from the top and held it. I didn't know that. I thought that if I picked it up, it would have fallen off, but it wouldn't have. I should have, I should have done that then. Okay, well, we're going to pull it out then, though. 
we're gonna let that keep going because we need to do the next bath bomb so this doesn't take forever for you guys. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, look at this gorgeous thing. Look at how gorgeous this is. Look at it, look at it. Now I don't ever not have names for bath bombs to tell you guys in the video. I will have to go back and look this up, but it is so, so beautiful, but I've had this for Ever. Okay, so the little skull on top is not attached, but I'm going to put it in just like this. And where my thumb is, I broke the corner off getting it out of the package. So it is not 100% intact, but we're going to put it in just like this. And, oh, that is just so awesome with that pink background with that water. So we're just going to put it in just like this and see what happens. But oh, that's so awesome. Now this one is scented in... Um, think chocolate mint, but I really don't know about that either, but I think that's what it is, and I think that's what it smells like to me, too. And I don't have any idea if this floats or not, because it's really, really big. But, I mean, I think all of hers that I've had float. See, when the lighting changes, it changes the, the focus on my camera. Oh, now I'm smelling the mint. Totally smelling the mint now. Okay, it wants to float, but it's sinking just a little bit. That skull wants to just hang out halfway on top of the water too. Oh, he's top heavy, he's floating. But he's gonna spin a little bit. Now this web is floating, but he, you know, he may just hang out for a long time because I think he's just gonna be a foamer. So we may have to move on to the bubble bar portion of this just for time's sake. And I think I think we might still have the Christmas ornament there on the right too, but oh, y'all, this is gonna be some kind of pink and some kind of awesome. It smells a little minty. I do smell the mint, but I smell the Fruit Loops a lot too, but this is gonna be so awesome. I don't wanna mess with the spider web because it just looks really, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then we'll check on it and then we'll do the bubble water part. Okay, so the web and the skull have come back together in frame, which is awesome, and they look really, really cool. This bath art is really starting to show off now. And a little bit back behind there, you can see where the black is kind of, um, kind of puddled up together, I guess, from the web. Okay, that is still going. That is still going a little bit. The spider, oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what the heck? What is going on? That is crazy. I have no idea what that's doing. Okay, what I was gonna say is <laughs> that's so awesome. I love bath bombs. Okay, what I was gonna say is I'm losing light, you guys. So let's move on to the next portion of our cocktail. Now this is bath salts. Um, I don't know if this has any bubbling agent in it or not, but I think it smells like strawberries, um, maybe strawberry shortcake, but we're gonna put a little of this in too. That is still going and that's freaking awesome. But anyway, so we're gonna put a little bit of this in and I'll try not to drop it because this is a glass 
and it's awesome. Because we don't have enough pink, obviously, and we don't have enough scents going on here. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to have this still left over for days, but that's good. That's fine. Okay, so we just used a little bit of that, and I'm sure that's got um, just some awesome properties that is going to help all of my aches and pains. Okay, so we've got plenty of that left still. This is just awesome. Even when this is done, I'm going to keep this. Okay, so let's get to our bubble bar. Okay, so I'm not the world's best at these, but I will try. Now, this is her Slaughtermelon Bubble Bar. I think, I have to look back, but I think that this came in the very first order, the very first box that I got from her. So this is really, really, I've had this a really long time. And you can see it's got the little seeds in it. Now, I did chop this earlier today, and I will try to put that clip in. So I may have, you may have already seen it. But anyway, it's super cool. It smells like watermelon. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the water on, and we'll... Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and do that now. And it's some bubbles. This is so much fun. I love this cocktail. It's just so much, so much going on at once because the paint is everything. It's just so awesome. This um, stuff is available in her shop anymore, and I don't know if she's um, coming back out with any of it because, like I said, I've had it for a really long time, but um, this is just kind of a fun demo. And I'm assuming that this is going to be like a crazy bubble situation because hers usually bubble up pretty well already. Okay, so I'm assuming the two, those are the little seeds, the little white ones. So, okay, well that's pretty much done. So let me cut the water off. I don't want to get too much water in the tub. Let's see how many bubbles we have just from the bubble bar. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the jets and see what we've got. <laughs> I can't even tell you how strong this smells with all of those in there and it's just awesome. That pink, I'm dying. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. And I'm not going to be able to leave these jets on very long. And I probably, I know I won't be able to have them on while I'm in there. Look at that stripe of pink. Now I'm not worried about that black around the sides because she she paints like a little black on a lot of her bombs and it's never been a problem before. Oh my goodness. You know, I smell the bubble bar probably the most right now, the watermelon. All right guys, I've got lots of bubbles and I've kept you long enough so I will let you know how it was when I'm done but I can tell you right now it's gonna be fabulous. See you in a minute. All right guys, I am finally done with my Valentine's Day Sweet Shop of Horrors cocktail and there is some pigment and bubbles left down in the bottom but I can tell it's just gonna rinse right down. Um, I loved this bath. It was awesome. I stayed in there extra long. It was super moisturizing and it is really, really fragrant. Um, 
I don't think I have any shimmer on my skin. I know that it did have some shimmer in it though because um, that dark down there, I think it's just a little black shimmer left over from what was painted on top of the bombs. But I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just, it was a little, um, you know, off the cuff, but um, I did really have fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will have all of her links listed down below. She's really awesome. Go check out her shop. Subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit a thousand before February 20th. So if you would do that, if you haven't, I would really appreciate it. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.